Who would have thought that this extremely cold small-budget science fiction film could use an explosive brain hole to explore human nature? The shocking reversal at the film's end is even more incredible to countless viewers. After a car accident, Liam turns into a killing machine because he finds that as long as any creature comes near him, it will die silently and instantly. At first, he did not notice the abnormality, dragging his broken body to the roadside to stop the car for help. But who would have thought that after the car came towards him, it suddenly lost control and crashed into the roadside. He cursed and ran over to check but found the driver's eyes rolled back and had not breathed. Panicked, he immediately called the police. But when the police asked his name, he found that he seemed to have memory loss. He took out his wallet and realized his name was Liam. But suddenly, Liam looked closer and found that the dead crow was also white in both eyes. This bizarre scene scared him, and he ran away. He found a restaurant with great difficulty but just pushed the door open. The scene inside the restaurant once again made his bones creepy. Both waiters and diners in the restaurant. All eyes are white. Weird dead state. Liam thought there was an unknown virus in the air, so he hurriedly pulled off his sleeve to cover his mouth and nose. Then he went through the map, compared it with the address on his ID card, and returned home. The first thing Liam did when he got home was to seal all the cracks in the windows and doors of his house. At that moment, he saw his neighbor outside the house was still weeding. He was kind enough to take out a wood plank and anxiously gesture for him to hurry home. But apparently the neighbor's eyes were not good and came towards him with a puzzled face. Liam finally realized something. Maybe it wasn't the air that was the problem, but himself. He went outside the house and found a crow to test. When he approached the crow step by step, one second the crow was cawing, the next second the eyes turned white, and he died instantly. Seeing this scene, he realized that the source of all the bad luck was himself. Then, he used the rope to measure the distance of death, which is exactly 10 meters. Overwhelmed. Liam wanted to call the police and turn himself in but struggled but could not decide. To avoid a bigger tragedy, he closed himself up in the warehouse. But at night, he found a strange woman approaching him, fearing that he might get her killed. Liam anxiously tells the woman to stay away. But the next moment, I just want to talk to you. Liam opened the door with fear and trepidation, only to find the woman still standing before him, alive and well. The woman's name is Jane. She told Liam that she was in the car when the accident happened and had also lost her memory. But to Liam's surprise, his ability to create death seemed to fail when Jane came to him, temporarily relieved. He returns to the accident scene with Jane to search for memories. However, the scene in front of them makes them realize there is more to it than meets the eye. There was a black circle 10 meters in diameter at the accident scene. This cannot be caused by a car accident. And when Liam picked up a tree branch to check, he found that it was not caused by fire either. Liam finally realized that the abnormalities in the two people must be related to the black circle of paranormal phenomena in front of him. Immediately after, he confessed to Jane the strange things that happened to him. But after Jane heard it, she just thought he was mentally ill and turned around and left. At that moment, a policeman passing by spotted the two arguing. When he got out of the car and asked for Liam, Jane had already walked further and further away. The distance between them was more than 10 meters. This scene completely dumbfounded Jane. Liam rushed to grab her, who was running away, to make her believe it all. He took Jane and decided to do another experiment. He made himself stand with a goat and made Jane keep backing away from himself. When the distance between them exceeded 10 meters, the goat immediately fell to the ground and died. Now Jane is convinced that she really does seem to be the switch that suppresses Liam's bad luck. To find out if his own body was abnormal, Liam took Jane to the hospital, but after a full body CT scan, there was no abnormality. That's when the two saw the news on TV. The police investigated and named Liam the first suspect in the strange deaths. Meanwhile, the police arrived at the hospital, and they had no choice but to escape. Just as they were about to take the elevator to leave, Jane was attracted by a search notice with her head on the wall. In the meantime, Liam has already run into the elevator, thinking that the innocent people inside the elevator were about to die. Jane could only run toward the floor, trying to stay within 10 meters of Liam, and Liam inside the elevator is also on the next floor anxious to drive away the people inside the elevator. Thankfully, they finally managed to meet up on the first floor, preventing another disaster. After successfully escaping from the police, they drove to the wasteland to spend the night. The time came the next day. Jane learns from the radio in the car that her husband is looking for her. 
Although she does not recollect it, she leads Liam to her husband. Jane informed her husband of her and Liam's anomaly and hoped he would help her recover her memory. But the husband only thinks she is imagining things and is angry at his wife for staying with a terrorist. He accepted it helplessly when he witnessed Liam demonstrate it with a pigeon under the bridge in front of him. Then he took them both to his own store that had gone out of business. Inside the house, Jane found a missing person's notice for her, showing that she had been missing for one year. Jane was completely baffled. And what about her so-called husband? When her husband saw this, he took out a photo and it turned out that Jane had a twin sister who had inexplicably disappeared one year ago. For this reason, Jane even quit her job and put up a search notice in town every day to find her sister. A few days ago, she and her husband had a big fight and left home in anger, seeing that his wife seems to be in a bad state. The thoughtful husband is ready to get her something to eat, but with a turn of the head, he saw the scene that made him helpless. He felt more and more like he was an outsider. When Liam left, he angrily asked Jane about her relationship with Liam, but Jane's words broke his heart. I don't know you, Sam. The jealous husband's head was so hot that he couldn't hold back and secretly called the police. Soon, they were blocked by the police inside the house. After being handcuffed, the police were ready to take them away separately. Liam was completely panicked, but no matter how much he explained and pleaded, the police only regarded him as resisting, as the two men screamed in pain and helplessness. Liam was devastated as he watched these people's lives fall before his eyes, but there was no time to grieve, and they had to continue their escape. The husband, who had witnessed the tragedy, offered to stay behind to make up for it as best he could. Liam takes Jane and prepares to head to his lake house. Halfway down the road, when they arrived at the store to buy supplies, a news story on the TV uncovered the truth. It turns out that just as they were in the accident, a cosmic lightning bolt struck them. This caused a supernatural change in their bodies. Liam guessed that the two of them are like a battery's positive and negative poles. And when they are together, they will be neutralized. And those whose eyes rolled over and died instantly, perhaps by the high intensity of electricity destroyed the brain. But even though he understood the cause, he still couldn't change anything. After arriving at the lake house, Liam expresses his despair for the future. He told Jane that if the anomaly could not be solved in the end, he could accept sacrificing himself. But he didn't want Jane to lose her freedom because of him. He doesn't know that after just a few days together, Jane has completely fallen in love with the kind-hearted Liam. I wouldn't care. Realizing that he will become a third party, Liam doesn't know how to face it and goes to the lake to take a break. When he arrived in the middle of the lake in a boat, the familiarity of everything reminded him of his lost memories. On the other hand, Jane accidentally found a metal box in the fireplace. Inside the box was a black diary. She was curious and opened the diary, but what was recorded inside shocked her. Every page of the diary was a photo of a missing woman. The photos included a detailed record of their brutal abuse and murder. Even more unacceptable to her was that her sister's photo was also included. Jane shuddered at the cruelty of the scene, unable to accept that the kind man she had just expressed her feelings for was, in fact, a cruel and sick serial killer. Jane trembled as she turned the diary to the last page, and her name appeared on it. At this moment, Jane's memory was completely restored. It turns out that night in a search for sister fruitless Jane, emotional breakdown under the preparation of suicide, Liam suddenly appeared and saved her and then kindly prepared to take her home. But halfway through the drive, Liam revealed his true face. When he was about to kill her, Jane sensed something was wrong. With her fierce resistance, the runaway car plunged down the hill. But as the two run out and confront each other, a cosmic lightning bolt falls from the sky and wraps them up. This is where everything that happens afterward comes from. Liam, who had also recovered his memory, could not face all this, and the feeling of disparity even made him vomit. Just then, Jane comes up behind Liam with a gun. She roared and told Liam to get on his knees. But no matter what, she could never pull the trigger. Just as she was escorting Liam back to the cabin, the three robbers who had followed them to the place took control of them. They then pinned Liam to the ground and beat him severely. Liam took the opportunity to knock one of them down and turned to run but stopped when he thought they still had Jane. He saw the two men coming at him with guns raised. He backed up step by step until they fell to the ground instantly. On the other hand, Jane also took the opportunity to escape but was shot by the last robber. After Liam got close to him and finished him off, he took Jane to the hospital with his life in danger. However, this time, he did not choose to follow Jane when she was being pushed to the operating room. Jane also realized his decision, but this time, she had no reason to stop him. 
the moment the distance between them reached 10 meters. In the end, Liam ended it all with his own life. The ultimate attribute of human nature is goodness, he also redeemed himself by judging himself.